Now proceed to Mr. I. Seguera. Mr. Seguera, do you have any comments regarding these three bills? Uh, magandang mag... <coughs> Excuse me po. <coughs> magandang magandang uh, hapon tayo. Eh, umaga po sa inyo, Chairperson. And of course, uh, lahat po ng kagalang-galang na representatives and fellow resource speakers. Um, I am for this because I have been uh, a freelancer my whole life ever since I was three. And um, isa po ako sa sinasabi natin na multi-hyphenated uh, people. Uh, ako po isang singer, artista, marami pa pong iba. And siguro isa lang din po gusto kong malaman is uh, yung intricacies po kasi ng trabaho natin. Like ako po bilang singer, iba po yung kontrata ko for that. Yung bilang artista, iba rin po yung kontrata for that because may mga pagbabago eh at, at hindi mo pwedeng i-apply yung kontrata mo bilang singer sa kontrata mo bilang artista. Like, um, bilang singer po, meron po kaming requirement dyan. At natutunan ko na lang din po ito because of many years of experience na hindi po ako nababayaran. So, kay, so kailangan ko pong maging, hindi rin po ako college graduate, pero kailangan ko maging masino dahil hanggat hindi ko na po protektan yung sarili ko, walang mangyayari sa akin. Um, like, meron po akong policy sa sarili ko na, and most of our, um, my, my colleagues in the music industry follow this, that you have a 50% down when you sign the contract, and 50% b before ka sumampa ng entablado. Unfortunately po, Mr. Chair, and uh, marami pong mga, hindi ko ito nasusunod. Minsan po, madalas sa amin, binibili sa amin ay check -in. Biglang sumampa na po kami na entablado, nag-bounce po pala yung check -in. Maraming beses po gano'n na nangyayari. And maraming beses din po na syempre, um, nandudod ka na sa venue, biglang sasabihin sa'yo, andyan na yung mga tao, nagsisigawan na, ay, sigera, ay, sigera, la, 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 la. Hindi ka pabayad. Pero syempre, andun na, labas yung pakiramdam mo na, I am, a, I am a performer. The people are waiting for me. Kailangan ko lumabas. Pero hindi ako bayad. Anong gagawin ko? Dahil alam ko, pag lumabas ako doon, the less chances that I, I have to get paid. So, isa po yun sa mga problema. Um, iba rin po. Iba rin naman po kapag bilang isang uh, artista. And ito, reason po, meron din po akong certain issue ngayon with a certain company because my song was used. I am also a composer. And my song was used for a film. And until now, the film was released I think more than a month ago, at the now I'm still not paid. And uh, yung mga iba-iba po yung nitigliti, so I think it's very important po na maupuan natin ito because um, yun, may mga nuances po ang bawat uh, freelancer na trabaho. Um, meron lang po ang gustong itanong kanin. Ito po yung unlawful practices. Um, Gusto ko lang pong malaman doon sa section 5 po ng unlawful practices po ninyo. Uh, hindi na po ito magiging uh, leeway ng mga, uh, parang loophole po ba lang, I mean loophole ng mga producers na eh, may, 30, may 30 days pa naman kami na pwedeng magbayad eh. So ba't ka namin babayaran ngayon? Hindi naman po ba ito magiging loophole? Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Sigara, for bringing that up. Um, tama ka, it can be uh, used as a leeway or legroom for the producer no, to, or the employer to delay the payment so as long as within the, the specified time they uh, must I think this will have to be addressed. Um, uh, Personally, what I, uh, as one of the authors, what I'm going to say, so I'm just thinking, uh, yung lagpas ng 30 days. So I'm ensuring um, a time frame in which the payment has to be made or else a violation is made. Um, but it should not, you, you're right, it should not be used as a loophole to delay the payment to the absolute uh, latest that is allowed by this proposed law. So, because either with parang either you can put something punitive in the proposal so that anything that is past the 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 payment uh, sorry the provision of services um, would be penalized 
or it can be incentive na if you are able to pay within the prescribed time, then you get something, um, or you are afforded something as a, as somebody who complied with the law. So I think, Mr. Chair, if we are going to subject this to a very technical working group, this is something that can be further deliberated. Um, I don't have a ready answer for you now, but thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, excuse me, Mr. Chair. I'm surprised, Mr. Zagera, that someone of your stature Eh, napapalusot na talit ba na? Ay, napakaraming gusto. Paano naman po yung lalo na yung mga mas maliling tao? Kung si Mr. Sigiano nga, eh, napapalusot na ng mga tao din na hindi siya bayaran. Paano yung mga maliling na tao? So, all the more that we should pass these bills so that uh, the workers' rights are protected, the freelance workers. You may proceed. Uh, Mr. Chair, I would just like to uh, manifest my intention if, if you have a technical working group, I would gladly be uh, you know, if you need me as a resource person, I would gladly be part of it. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Let's assure that we will be inviting you all the time. Kahit na hindi sa showbiz sa mga patati, kung naman tapi dyan, we would like you to share in your event. Ano yan, Madam? Madam Vice Castro. Maganda yung point ni Mr. Isabella kung doon sa payment. Kasi kailangan, ah, sila ka sabi nga nung is mga ilang uh, resource person natin, parang kasi-kasi. Kung baga, bayad agad, kung may gano'n. So, pwede kaya yung in-tranches mailagay natin doon sa ano, sa contract? Um, uh, pwede, um, kami naman po in-tranches, pero sana wag after the fact. Like, after the, ano? Kanyari, kasi kami po, like, sometimes we do a 25, 25, and then 50%, pero dapat sana before in service is rendered. Kasi para nga lang, bumili ka ng t-shirt, dapat bayaran mo yung t-shirt bago mo makuha yung t-shirt. Same thing. So parang, okay lang po yung tranches, but kunyari, 25% upon signing, and then 25% before, or like two weeks before, and then the 50% payment on the day of the performance, let's say. I mean, for, for, a, for a musician like me. Uh, we now proceed with the Ito kasi importante ito kanina po yung natin, uh, si Robert Divine of the BIR. Uh, nasa ka ba? Uh, good morning po. Oo. Kanina pa namin na ano, pinuha ko eh. Uh, sorry po, uh, lumabas po ako sa glit. Ay, ano ba? Nakatayo po ako din. Kung millennial ka to, sabi ni Robert Divine no? of the Venetia. Uh, have you started those three bills? Uh, Authority divided. Checking them right now, po. Ah, hindi mo rin pag-arahin lang. Pa? Sige, po. Wala po yata na-upload sa website. No, no, no. It was email. Pila na lang ba siya, po? So, you know, before, when you're invited, pinadada lang po namin yung ganyan ng mga doon agenda, at saka nyo ngayon din sa bill, copies of those bills. So, you don't have the copy. You don't, hindi pa na-aral. Hindi ba ba, sir? Ano ang sa ba dumating? Um, 10... Ah, 9.50 po. O, kanina ako pala nandiyan dito, pabira ka naman. So, ano silbi mo yun dito? Huwag nyo ba alam yan? Browse ko saan sa gitan. Ano yan? I'll just browse it. Well, Mr. Chair, then... Mr. Chair? Yes, they are always talking to me. Well, we have more than PIR to, you know, catch up to their work. Um, if I could just enter into record the position paper that was given to us uh, by Pia Campos. She is a general manager of W Talent Management. And I think she is also, she also manages one of her colleagues, the Congresswoman Lucy Torres Gomez, and, uh, and many other uh, talents. Uh, she was very, very um, interested in providing um, insights into the discussion Siguro I'll just enter the record yung some salient points from her two-page position paper. Uh, while the industries we service are described and deemed as glamorous, fun, and exciting by those who do not witness what really happens behind the scenes, many ungodly hours and laborious efforts are rendered by people working here. 
in my experience of working with freelancers, some of them do not have their own DIR because of these probable reasons. One, they are still trying to see if they can work on their own. Two, there's no consistency in the number of projects that they can book in a month. Three, the rates that they get paid also vary as there's no standardized price range that should be followed, I think it was mentioned earlier. Four, they do not know exactly when they get paid, or sometimes they do not get paid at all. And five, sometimes they do work that is just considered as a quote-unquote racket, which is a Filipino slam for unregistered work. If the freelance talent that we book does not have his or own DIR registration, we bill in their behalf as their agent, and their earnings get reflected in the total taxes that we pay. As an agent, we also provide contracts conforming for them if required by the clients. Please note that contracts are only required here for on-camera talents, but not for creatives. I do agree on having a contract even for creative talents, as this gives accountability for all parties involved. The non-payment also happens sometimes to proper agencies like mine, thus affecting both our business and that of the talent contracted. Probable reasons for not getting paid are A. Person responsible for processing of billing leaves the company and does not make the proper turnover. B. Company suddenly closes or the client disappears. C. Sometimes there are many team layers involved in one project. For example, brand, ad agency, freelance producer, casting director, talent agency, etc. And the billing gets lost along the way with no main point person to follow up. So I will enter this into the, uh, I think uh, the position paper has already been submitted to the committee, but I just wanted to put that on record because it also echoes some of the concerns that were mentioned earlier. Something about the middleman or the agent transacting in behalf of the freelancer, I think they should be afforded some kind of protection as well. Um, so maybe that's something that can be incorporated into the consolidated measure. Um, and then also with regards to the insights on the non, uh, the, the payment, which is the not on time, um, I think all of that should be uh, considered as well uh, when we go to our PWG. Uh, and rest assured, we will also be inviting uh, via campus as well as um, other resource persons who we invited but were not able to make it to this committee. Thank you. Thank you. I think we've had uh, quite a bit of discussion already. Uh, I, I don't think I will wait for the comments and the suggestion of our Research person from the BIR. Mr. Chair. Yes, the honorable lady. I'd like to be your assessment. I move that we organize a TWG to consolidate the details. That's where we're proceeding on TWD, but it will be assigned to one of the subcommittees of the Labor Committee, and uh, it will be assigned to your committee. The honorable Michael Levi. You will be chairing the uh, subcommittee to press out and come up with a substitute bill uh, that will now uh, help, you know, the solid light of our freelance. Mr. Workers. Chair, Mr. Chair, I'd like to move to be the co-chair of said. Uh, uh, Julie noted uh, the honorable uh, Dr. Venetia will co-chair the subcommittee hearing to be uh, uh, presided by the senior vice chairperson, uh, Maya Klippa. Uh, we can now proceed to the nurses. But then may I request the other uh, stakeholders to stay here because if it, uh, this also concerns you. Like all of us, you know, in the Philippines, we are uh, uh, quite reliant on our Kasambahay. And this is the uh, House Bill number 1116, authored by the Honorable Jose Lito Tienza, 